worship. Father, to say thank you for the gift of your Son that changed everything, including us. We would ask that your Spirit would bring our hearts into your presence, and your presence would fill this place and our hearts. This morning, throughout the weekend, and throughout our lives until we are embraced by you and see you face to face. We ask these things in Jesus' name and all God's children said together. Amen. Amen. tonight at 8 o'clock. It'll be about 45 minutes. 8, 8.45. Hey, and don't laugh, because that's about how long it was last year. So that's, uh, we'll, we'll see you through that, alright? So about 8, 8.45, maybe 9. Uh, tonight. So Christmas Eve candlelight service tonight. Uh, I want to remind you that on your way out the door today, uh, as a love gift, some folks uh, have anonymously uh, just offered and put together some bags and some uh, even some drinks back here uh, for you because they love you and uh, so as you leave there will be some folks, uh, probably some youth handing you some bags on your way out the door so don't forget to get that and you're going to want to exit through the back so you don't miss that out of that, okay? Uh, are there any other announcements? Any other announcements before we get rolling? Alright. Well, that was beautiful. Thanks for calling us to worship. Appreciate that in the right way. And uh, we're going to pray again. So, Heavenly Father, thank you for that. Father, we, we come before you and just thank you and praise you and adore you. 
And Father, we ask to come into your presence and to come in the right way today. In your name we pray. Amen. So, uh, this morning, uh, I was just a little selfish, and I decided I would like to have big candles today. Uh, but I don't know where my little candle is. <laughs> 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 uh, you would be back there. But our, uh, our candle uh, today is love. Is it? Well, that's pretty good. You know, in Germany, they had a pickle in the tree. And in Hardison, we had a candle in the avenue tree. All right, Saturday. So, with peace, hope, joy, and today, love. So, uh, 1 Corinthians 13 says what? The greatest of all these gifts. The greatest of all these gifts is love. Right? Faith, hope, and love. Love or faith. And uh, the Word of God also tells us in uh, John uh, that they'll, they'll know us by our love. And greater, have, greater love has no man than this, that he lay down his life for us. Right? And then you take also into connection with that, that we were loved while we were still sinners. And so the Advent season is about the coming of Christ, Christmas, and the coming of Christ to come. And so as we think about love today, I want you to remember this. I want you to remember that first and foremost, you are loved. You are loved by a holy God who loved you while you were still living in sin. While you were still covered in sin. A holy God who sent His Son to die for you not because you earned it, not because you deserved it, but because He loved you wholly and completely. A holy God who loved you while you were in sin. And a holy God who loves you today while you are being sanctified and purified and under construction and still on the way. And a holy God who loves you still today even though you haven't made it there yet. If you're not all put together today, say amen. 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 You're still loved. You are loved by a holy God. And, and I, I'd like to give you a big sad speech about loving one another and how the Christmas season is about loving your neighbor. And, and that's a good thing. But you won't know how to do that until you know how to receive His love in your heart. And once you receive His love in your heart and you push your pride to the side and you push your achievements to the side and you push your inadequacy to the side because you are loved, only then can you know how to love one another. So today I want you to remember during the Advent season, that you are loved by a holy God. A fierce love that will not let you go. He loves you today and forever and right at this moment. Amen? Amen. Amen.
prayer and praise. Um, and, and before we start prayer and praise, Harold, would you like to say something? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, but don't say something kind of layered up here. It's not a Christmas wise chair. Her, her face always gets me. She thinks, oh Lord, what's he going to do now? Anyway, I'd like to thank her very much because when I was being sick, she has stepped up and took over jobs that I was doing. And she realized how hard I was working. <laughs> <laughs> she, has, she has done really great helping me, and I really appreciate it and love her very much. And this morning, uh, I want to welcome some of our family here. And as I call your name, I would like for you to stand up. Daddy. And good folks back here. And, and so they know who my family is if they see me. Jill Call. Renee Call. Thank you for the cards, the phone calls, and the prayers. 
and keep us in your prayers now, please. Thank you. All right, let's pray, church. <clears throat> well, Heavenly Father, to be in this place, to fill this place with praise and song and worship, uh, Father, to, to fill this place with, uh, with your spirit, Father, we thank you for that. Lord, we come before you and we acknowledge your holiness and your goodness and your perfection and your power. Lord, your purity. And Lord, we acknowledge that we wouldn't stand a chance before you if not for the shed blood of your Son on the cross. That we approach you with confidence by your grace and forgiveness. And so Father, those of us who are your children, who have given our lives to you as Lord and Savior, we come before you today and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, we are not worthy and not adequate to even speak your name outside of Jesus. But Lord, covered in Jesus Christ, we are adopted into the family as your children where we can call you Abba, Father. And so Lord, we come before you today and just say thank you 
and we praise you, mighty God. Father, for the needs that were lifted up this morning, Lord, we lay those needs at your feet for healing, for miracles, for comfort, for assurance, for peace. Lord, the praises that were given here this morning for folks that have come and, and come back home, for folks that are here that we've missed so dearly, Father, to have our family in this place together again under one Father and one head, Jesus Christ. Lord, we would just ask that you would continue to fill us with your presence and with your peace. Lord, for the needs that are in here this morning that went unspoken but lay heavy on hearts. Father, for those who, who miss someone, for, for those who are just anxiously awaiting your call to come home. Father, for, for all of your children here, we just ask that you just meet us where we're at. Lord, you are good, you are holy, and you are perfect. And we are spotless and righteous, washed in your blood, because we're your children. And so, Father, we come in here to praise you for that today. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you, and all God's children said together, Amen. 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 I'm going to sing together, if the congregation would stand. Uh, 219 in your red hymnal or on the screen, we'll sing together what child is this. serve your kingdom, that folks who don't know you 
would know you and these gifts would be a part of that. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will toward men. For all the celebration the season can bring, for some, the joy of Christmas can become so overshadowed by life, the very gift Christ came to offer is sometimes the hardest for us to receive. But since Christ came, we are no longer a people without hope. We have been given access to the Father through the Son, and in Him we have life more abundant.
same passage. Luke chapter 2, beginning at 15, <coughs> verse 15. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see the things that have come to pass which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Well, then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told to them.
that, and I know, I know they all did. If you enjoyed that, let them know it. And uh, I, I know a, a couple of choir members asked me to make sure, and, and she don't want me to, but they asked me to, so to make sure that you knew that uh, Tanya worked her every little bit. Woo! And we came to worship God and praise Him. So if uh, if you don't mind, let's give the biggest praise of all to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> and if, uh, if you're a child of God, if you've given your heart to Jesus Christ, and you're a child of God, you have promised of forever in your heart, won't you stand up? The, the last song said, He shall reign forevermore. You know what, child of God? I want you to say this with me. Can you say forever? Forever. 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 That's how long you get to live. That's, that's how long He's in control. That's how long He'll be in your heart and fill you up. What was that word, congregation? Forever. Forever. Christmas happened, right? Jesus came. He stepped out of heaven and came to earth. And He came so that you could live how long? Forever. In heaven with Him where He will reign. How long? Forever. So don't worry. Because He's got you. For how long? Forever. Amen. Nancy, come on up and we'll ask a blessing on this congregation. If you'd like, hold out your hands for the blessing here. Heavenly Father, we thank You and we praise You for a good time together. We thank you and we praise you because we came in here to worship you. And Lord, that's what we did. Thank you for filling our hearts. And Father, we would ask that for the rest of this day, Lord, with all that that entails, no matter where we're going back and forth, whether it's home or whether it's to somebody else's home, whether it's with other people or whether we're just somewhere, Father, we would ask that we would be in your presence that you would be our constant companion today and that you would fill us up today and forevermore with your peace, with your fire, with your passion. Lord, that you would fill us up forevermore with the knowledge and the assurance that we are your children forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray and all God's children said together, Amen. Amen.